Hello my friends, William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation. In this video I'm going to make another juice, but this time I'm going to be using an older model Norwalk juicer that has the round grid that fits in the bottom of the feed tube, and I'll give you a close-up of this in a moment. But what I'm going to do today is make juice with one of my favorite greens, French sorrel, and kale and a few other ingredients. Let's look at my ingredients and the juicer. Today's juice is going to include French sorrel, kale, a half a head of garlic, ginger, and 80 grams of turmeric. One beet with tops and carrots. Now let's take a look at the juicer. Here's an older model Norwalk juicer and I want to point out some of the improvements I've made. Of course, one of the best improvements is the thermometer upgrade that goes into the feed tube. We've added an inch because in the older models if you stuffed your fingers down accidentally you could cut them on the cutter so we added an inch and it's impossible to cut your fingers. We've also put in a lifetime warranty return spring, new seals, a leg height kit, and now we're ready to make some juice. And here's the last of the French sorrel. tips off. There's one I missed at the top. Both into a bowl, a couple more carrots. Let's see, a few more carrots and then we'll quit. Now one little tip. When you're done with everything you're going to do, Take some pulp, put it in here, and what you're going to do is force through any plug of juice or any plug of produce that you have in there. Uh, the next step is going to be to pull out the thermometer and clean the feed tube. First of all, take all the carrot off of the cutter. We'll unscrew the bottom. Whoop. Baby's getting restless, huh? Okay. Now this is how easy it is to clean. Just rinse it. I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean. And all you do is rinse it with water. Now all the juices I sell come with a cleaning brush. Like so. So you just pass it once through. Like so. And that's it. That's it. And mix your pulp. Now whenever there's carrots in your pulp mix, you do not need to use a bamboo liner. If you make only green juice or only fruit juice, you need to line your cloth with a bamboo liner. But since we have carrot pulp in here, we don't need to use a bamboo that? liner. Well, greens only juice will stick to the cloth. For some reason, when you have carrots in, it doesn't stick. Okay. Well, I'm going to demonstrate my six cloth less work method. I use six cloths at one time, and I Pull it out over the counter so my claws don't touch the countertop. And I put three scoops of pulp in each cloth. Fold it over in thirds, like so. And we'll set that aside. Uh, 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 uh. 
Well, I hope the little baby's picking up all these healthy lives. <laughs> okay. Okay, now these first two claws I'm going to put in the tray. Centered left to right is very important to center it. Center front to back and make any adjustments if you need to. This goes all the way back and then back it off a little bit because you don't want that to go up too fast. And then continue filling more cloths. Is that the speed of... Yes, of the adjust okay. the speed. Okay. Set that aside. Three more scoops. Advance it a little bit. Three more scoops. Hold it in thirds. Those together. I just I want to see that end, that end fold. I'll show you again slowly. Okay. Hold it in thirds, just okay. like they yeah. came in the package. Uh -huh. A little crease back here. Yeah. And then pull this with your fingers under. Yeah. Like so. Okay. Pull that one up. And this goes forward, this goes over. You advance that all the way. Should have done that when I was folding the last cloth. And then the spent clouds go on top. Two more claws in the press. Centered left to right. Centered front to back, all the way back. Back it off a little bit. Now never throw away your pulp. What you do is you put two scoops on top of the old pulp, not three. Okay. Again. Now, if you're doing a large batch of juice, later on you put only one scoop on top because the patty's getting thicker and thicker. Yes. Okay. So you fold it back here. Like if you were to juice it a third time after that. A third or fourth time. Okay. Now, when you're on your last cloth, two scoops. And I'd suggest after the first scoop to advance that all the way. And it looks like we're going to have enough, well, it's, that's going to be too much pulp, so we'll, we'll save that for another plot. You'll be tempted to put more pulp in there, but don't do that. You want your patties to be just the right size. So this goes forward, this goes over. This is my less work six cloth method. Okay. This backs off. In here. All the way back, back it off a little bit. And then we'll put the last of this pulp in here. There's a spatula to get all of that. Set that aside. That's that all the way. Two more clouds in here. All the way back, back it off a little bit. Now what I'm going to do with these spent clouds is repackage it and see if we can press more juice out of this. Hold the center two or three times, you notice what I'm doing? Yep, yep, okay. Okay, you do that in both directions. Now even though you don't have the premium bottom base plate, it is under warranty for 12 years, so if it ever breaks, it gets replaced for free. Okay. So I'll advance that a little bit more. And we'll repackage this again. So we'll advance that all the way, and then 
repackage this again. Looks like that's already spent. Okay, so if you, when you first juice those, you put that all the way back and then. I just, lift I'll, it I'll show you so again on, on this last cloth. This is the last cloth. I'll put it in the center. It's very important to get it in the center. Also very important to get the tray on properly. Never leave it like this or like that because you'll damage your tray. Make sure your tray is on properly. Center left to right, center front to back, all the way back, and you back it off a little bit. And then we're going to repackage this because you'll get 10% more juice if you do that. Okay, as you can see, I've repackaged the pulp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the measuring beaker to show how much more juice can we get from this repackaged pulp. So we put two repackaged cloths in here, centered left to right, front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now, the Novak company says don't leave this up longer than 20 seconds. I wouldn't leave it up more than 20, 30 seconds because you've got the original bottom plate. But let's see how much more juice we can get from this batch. If you had a whole health foundation bottom base plate, you could leave it up indefinitely. But let's stick with the program. Okay. Leave it up 20 seconds. Back that off a little bit. Always keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> this is so easy to overflow and advance that all the way. My goodness, we've got seven more ounces so far. We've got 64 ounces here. We've got more than 10%. All right, and we'll put in this last set of repackaged. All the way back, we'll pack it off a little bit. My God, we got an extra bottle of juice. There's another 11 ounces of juice just from repackaging it into a tighter package. Uh, we're going to only leave this up 20 seconds. And as I said, if you have the whole health foundation model, and you can always upgrade this later if you want to. It costs $410 for the bottle plate. But I think this is good enough for now. Well, there we go. An extra 12 ounces of juice. Um, amazing. All right, we'll pour that in here. And now we're going to pour this into bottles. What I do is I leave about 10% for filtered water. I think the juice is too strong anyway. But e each to their own. I fill it up, leaving room for 10% for filtered water. You can use bottled water if you don't have a water filtration system. Now you're next to the last step is to wash off any pulp that's on the cloth. Scrub it lightly in cold water, not hot water, cold water. Fold it, then we're going to put it in the press, press the water out, and then put them in the freezer. Under here, if you want to do it that way. But as soon as all the water is pressed out, we'll put them in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer. The reason you put it in the freezer is germs cannot grow in the freezer. All right, as you can see, we got five bottles of juice. And remember, I think it was 16, 14 or 16 ounces came from pressing the pulp that's already spent. And I have enough for a couple of taste tests. So let's do a taste test. Okay, my friends, I'm here with Herb and Val Nolan and family and Sheila, and we're going to do a taste test. Here's to your health. Cheers. 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 It's delicious. Boy, I can taste the French sorrel in mine, that earlier batch. Yeah, well, I can taste the kale, too. It's good. Mm. Very good. I love the savory after taste of the turmeric. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Well, my friends, I hope you like what you've seen. If you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 
7530321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com.